because the paint box is over there on the main table and I'd like to stay there, I thought I'd set this little side table up further on, the, which is further along the lab, uh, just to do uh, these sort of videos. It's not quite level, is it? It is. I can't tell. It looks sort of level. Anywho, if I could grab the camera, I could show you the IBM 5150 just back here for those who uh, are on my live shows, you may be able to get uh, to recognise the layout here. But anyway, yes, today, the purpose of this video is a first attempt at looking at this thing, which is. Uh, it's super key. It is a. Not a whistle. Uh, it is a Tektronics TDS3012 digital oscilloscope. A very nice and quite pricey piece of kit. This one I found upside down in the skip. Now, because of its location, hello by the way, uh, I didn't pull this up a little bit. There we go. I didn't quite expect it to work, and indeed, it does not. Uh, you will find that when you plug this in uh, to the mains, it has no power whatsoever. Now I'm not going to plug it in to demonstrate that uh, to you because I don't know what it's like inside. I've had a look at what the problem is. If you're my Facebook group, you are likely to already know what is wrong with this. Uh, but for those of you who don't, because you're heathens and you don't follow me on Facebook, Uh, we shall take the spot and have a look and uh, we shall show you exactly what is wrong. But first of all, I need to get myself a towel to put this on and what I'll do, I shall take this apart, take it back off, we'll come back and show you. It's a bit of a pain to take apart this one, so I'll be right back. Right, and welcome back and if I now turn this over. You'll see she's been stripped of her covers, bearing her sexy, although slightly dead, interiors and a wobbly floppy drive. Anyway, let's grab the camera and uh, this is awkward. I might have to try a different position next time. Anyhow, right, here we go. Right, this is not what we were looking for. We. Thank you. We are looking for this. This is the main power supply. If I bring the light over here, you can now see in it. And immediately, well, that's where the main shoes was. That's been removed by me because that was blown up. Mess. But down here, let's have a look. You can see these capacitors here are suffering from deadness. Completely blown out that one second from the top. It's completely blown and there was a burnt and over here. They're badly burnt So it is likely that uh, There's a lot of damage to the components on this board uh, I've been advised that it's likely to be the regulator there that has died You can see there's actually a lot of damage to the capacitor behind it so, it's probably that that's died and caused all this massive amounts of damage. Actually, even under the transformer, it looks like this. Hmm, under the transformer there, it looks like there's damage there. So, something went pop and didn't just go pop gently. Hmm. So, if anybody uh, knows anything about these, please uh, feel free to leave in the comments. So, what we plan to do, uh, therefore, is to replace this board. Uh, the only issue is we don't know if this is... That's just Ash uh, talking to me on the internet. Uh, we don't know if this caused damage in the main system over here. Now, uh, can't see anything obvious, but you never know. So what we're going to do is use, if I uh, put the light up there and bring it back over here so it's making me feel sick but there we go, that's life what we're going to use for now is to test whether it's worth spending money on a new PSU for this so we're going to use an ATX power supply not this power supply which I've already modded 
uh, to work outside the case. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that. If you want to see how to do that, then go on the interwebs and it will show you nicely. And what you do is use the 12 volt. Although this takes 15, can't see on the monitor there. There we go. Although this takes 15 volts, we are going to use the 12 volt power supply from this PSU because uh, we believe that this knocks it down to 12 after it goes in anyway. And we're going to connect up the power supply from the main board directly to this PSU and see if we can power the front end with the PSU out the loop. If that works, even to a degree, then it's worth putting the money into a new PSU for this. So that's what we're going to do next. First of all, I've got to sacrifice some wires somewhere to make a connection. Oh joy, oh deep thirsting joy. The only other way to do it is make a direct connection, but nah, that's going to be too messy. Need to find some wires. I'll be right back. Right, a short while later and what might be considered one of the most cowboy setups of all time. Right, I'm just adjusting there. So I'm get this switch here. Nice yeah. press that without damage. Without touching anything. I think so. Right. Okay, push that there and that should provide us. Right. Okay. Oh, hang on. This is very, very cowboyish. Uh, let's make sure I unplug. What we've done, well, it's not what you might expect. But I'm going to have to come back because I've got a few issues here. I'll be right back. Right. Okay. Try again. Right. Uh, it's not turned out. Oh. Oh. Take me tea. Right, here we go. It hasn't turned out quite as I planned. Uh, what we've done, we've cut the end off of the power supply. You can see all the wires there. They are all nicely contained in there, so there's no shorting or anything. Do not try this at home. I'm an idiot. Do not try it. Now, you've got the connector there coming off of the power supply, going to the main motherboard. And we've dismounted that from the PSU. And we've mounted a 12 volt here, which is supposed to be 15, but it's 12, and a ground. This has all been continuity tested with the chassis and the PSU to make sure all connections are there. If you don't know what continuity testing is, again, don't try this at home. In fact, just don't try this at home. And yes, to get that off of the main board, we had to take the battery board off. But with the battery board loose, you can't get to the switch to operate it properly because it just falls backwards. So I've now had to remount the battery board. So we're going to give this a shot. Let's see if it does anything. Mm. Uh, oh, blow up. So here goes. The yeah, shoot is powered up. We'll go up here. Let's see. Does anything happen? Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Not a sausage. The ground is connected, uh, 12 volts connected, everything's connected, it should work. So, let's just kill that again. And, oh, yeah, don't want that. Right. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Can't wait. I've got good connection there. I've got good connection there. Uh, it's running to the motherboard. Uh, hmm. Okay, try again. Here it goes. Nothing, not a sausage. So, hmm. Is it the amps draw? Is it the voltage? Have I done something wrong? Let me have a look. Let me go around here and take a peek. Uh, 
or is it just that this machine is completely buggered? Uh, pardon me, I'm suspecting the latter. Or it could simply be that this machine does not have uh, enough power to run from the 12 volt. So, hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oops, all of these wires run everywhere, so I wonder if you've got to connect them all up. Hang on. Um, hmm, I wonder. That wire might be broken. Right, I'll be right back. Okay, news update. Uh, you're not seeing this, but hang on. Let's see if I can. Ah, right, okay. I'll be right back. Right, some good news. You're going to have to watch very closely. Because uh, I'm going to put the this on. Make sure that is switched off. And... Uh, I'm going to put PSU in. Okay. Now you're going to have to watch very closely. Because this will happen very quickly. Ready? See that? It came on. It started booting. But it turns out this has under voltage protection, so it shut the PSU down. Why is the choice? And what I'm going to do before we give up on this for now, but it looks like uh, I'm going to see if I've got, if I've only thought about this now because I'm stupid, I'm going to see if I've got anything that does kick out 15 volts exactly hidden in that crate of stuff over there. Mmm, 8 inch floppies. Mm. So, I'm going to have a quick look. If I can't, then there is good sign because it's booting. Although we don't know how far it boots, how if there's any damage, but it does come on, which is a good sign. Uh, in the meantime, yes, yeah, gonna have a quick look for an adapter. Right, a short while later, and let's conclude this video. Uh, right, we did find a 16 volt uh, adapter, and we think it can take 16 volts. We're not sure. So what we're going to do, because it powered up at the front, just shut the PSU off as it should because it was underpowered. The menu came up, so it looks like the front end is working. So it does look like it is worth uh, getting the PSU for this. So, I have to wait for my birthday or something. Because the lowest we found is about 30 quid. Uh, if anybody has one for sale, cheaper, or knows where I can get them cheaper, it is a NAN, that's N A N, uh, 40 7615. I'll show you that in situ so you can see the label. Do, 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 do. So if anybody can help with that, there you go, uh, please let me know. And hopefully, next video on my birthday time, the end of April, uh, we should have a video, hopefully, of this firing up, fully working, and uh, we'll see what we can do, get it to do. Nice to get this going, wouldn't it? So, thank you very much. Looking forward to this one. And uh, we've got just show you a few here. On a similar vein, we've got this to fix. This has power issues. I think it's a transistor. But uh, yes, it's another one. So definitely with that one soon as well. So, thank you all for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>